So if at any point voiceover stops talking and doesn't respond to you, you can connect your iPad to your computer and through iTunes reconfigure or reactivate the accessibility features. We're going to walk through steps of doing this on both the Mac and the PC. We're going to start with the Mac. We've connected the iPad to our Mac with, via the cable that came with the iPad. And usually what happens when you connect your iPad is iTunes opens automatically, but if it doesn't, you can just go find the iTunes app on your dock and activate it. So I'm going to go to the dock of my MacBook here. Dock. Safari 6 of... And I'm going to look for the iTunes app and activate it. Uh, iTunes 10 of 16. Okay. Finder. Desktop. Desktop. I Finder. Finder. De iTunes. Mm -hmm. iTunes. iTunes. Window. Sources. Table. Row 7 of 24. iTunes Store. Click. Okay, when iTunes opens, the focus of VoiceOver is on the sources table. And that's the table that allows you to access all the different parts or all the different aspects to iTunes. We're going to interact with that table or that list, and we're going to look for the iPad listed among those items. Now, once you connect your iPad and it's powered up, it should show up in this list. So we're going to just look through the list. We're going to interact with it first. Interact with sources table iTunes match, live, ping, play, play, enter your Apple, I Apple I password, forgot, username, edit, tap, password, create account, cancel button. You may encounter certain pop-ups or certain windows that open up as you're moving through the sources table, like I just did when I passed the ping option. You can just find the cancel button on that particular window. Create cancel button, prep, now in and iTunes we can get window, past it. ping, playlist, okay. devices, sources, expanded, Gus iPad, battery, Nine zero percent. Okay, we found my iPad, and now to move to the area where I can turn on the accessibility or I can turn VoiceOver back on, I have to stop interacting with this particular list. Stop interacting with so summary selected radio button okay. one of ten. Then I move into this area that has a bunch of different aspects that I can interact with. So I have the you summary. Are there are different pages on iTunes that have to do with my iPad. The first one is Summary, which is the one that we're actually looking for. But I'm just going to go through a couple of the options that are available here. This is where you would come to configure or customize what gets transferred to your device or what gets backed up from the device itself at, some, at whatever point you choose to do that. For this exercise, we're just going to be looking at Summary. But uh, let's look at what else is available here. So we have Summary. Info, radio button. Info, which allows us to look at um, some further details about what's on the iPad. Apps, radio button. Apps, uh, which gives you just a list of all the apps that you have. Tones, radio button. Ringtones. Music, radio music, button. Movies, radio movies, button. Movies. TV shows, TV radio shows, button. Seven of ten podcasts. Ra podcasts. So as you can see, the iPad separates all this media into separate kind of sections, and you're able to access them as you wish, or you're able to upload or to transfer one or all, or any combination in between. So you're able to really customize what you do with your iPad. Books, radio button, no, photos, radio. Okay, books and photos. Scroll area. Okay, then we hit the scroll area, which is which is where we want to be, and we're gonna we have to interact with this area in order to access what's here. So we're gonna interact with that. Interact with scroll area. Thirty items. iPad name. Gus iPad. Okay, and this is there's a lot of information that's available here. You can look at and or change the name of your iPad, so you get to name it. I know a lot of people give uh, their iPads some funny or cute names. Capacity. Right, it also gives you the, the capacity information. One three point three five GB software version. And it lets you know if you're if you have the latest software version on, installed onto it. Five point one point one. Okay, that's the version we have. Serial number. That's the serial DLX number. DLX version. Check for update button. Okay, and there's a button to check for update. So if uh, if you're not sure if you have the latest version, you, you can come the... here and and click on this button. But then there's a little message underneath here that says... Your iPad software is up to date. Great. I Great. So our iPad software is up to date, so we're good to go. Bottom restore button. Restore is if... Let's say I want to... Um, the, my iPad's not acting the way I think it should. You can restore it to factory settings and kind of reinitialize it and start the um, start the process over again. Now, again... 
you should back up your iPad regularly to your computer so that way your computer has all the information on it so when you restore it you're able to to resync or to recopy that information back onto the iPad it's very important to be to be doing backups regularly with these types of devices if you are experiencing problems with your iPad you can restore its original settings by clicking restore okay backup backup to backup to this computer Right, so it gives you an opportunity to back up right here. Encrypt local backup, change password, last backup to this, options. Okay. Open iTunes when this iPad, sync with this iPad over one. Right, so there's other options, like you can set it to automatically open iTunes when you connect it. You can also set it to automatically sync, or if you want to manually control what gets, uh, what gets uploaded to your iPad, that's your choice as well. So you get, to, you get a lot of control over this device. Sync only checked songs and videos, unchecked. See. Prefer standard depth, convert higher bit rates, 1 to 8 KB, AAC, manually manage music, configure universal access. And button. here's finally the button that we've been looking for. It's the button that says configure universal access. Universal access is what Apple calls their accessibility suite. So we're going to click on that button. Universal access, seeing, hearing. And here's where we have an opportunity to enable or to on. turn on our assistive technology. So I'm going to just go through the window. As I get to voiceover, I'm going to click on that, and then we'll just still continue to look at the window. Voiceover, radio button. Okay. It's a radio button. So I'm going to select it, and we're still going to keep moving through. Press, voiceover, radio button. Okay, so that's pressed. Zoom, radio button. Zoom, you know, I can turn on zoom from here if I like as well. Neither, radio button. <laughs> Neither, <laughs> if, that's what I, if that's what I didn't want. Use white on black display, okay. uncheck. I can reverse the color contrast, which is something that we've covered with the accessibility settings. Speak auto text, uncheck, check. Speak auto text, so there's a lot of different features that can be controlled through the uh, computer here. Hearing. We move into the hearing options. So this basically, this window mimics the accessibility window that's on the iPad itself. So when we click on the accessibility window, we have all these options. So I'm going to keep moving through. Use mono audio. Uncheck. Okay. Show closed caption. Cancel button. OK. Default button. And I'm going to click on the OK button. And hopefully, if all goes well, our iPad will start to talk. VoiceOver changes the gestures used to control iPad. Are you sure you want to continue? Cancel, but continue. Default button. Press. Configure. Voice over on. Landscape. Okay. And our, button to the right. Messages. And our iPad Double is ready. To to access button. <laughs> and our iPad is ready, and she's very eager to start talking. So here she is working again, and, and we're good to go.